Well, it originally started with um, Bao Ku. I invited Bao Ku to uh, come and provide some African drumming for some cultural pieces that we were doing on the February concert. And while at the end of the day, uh, the day had gone so well, my brain started to go to different places of uh, different ways that we could involve, involve Bauku. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if, we, if he could write something for us, because I know he composes music too, and something cultural, something joyful as a celebration to conclude the entire May 11th concert. Um, and also to include the seniors just one more time um, in something musically very exciting. Moses brought parts of his African culture into the composition. He specifically brought the emotions and chants and also the accompanying percussion. Everything in this song represent my culture, like the singing style, the drumming that would be going with it, the message behind it and the energy and expression behind the songs are all to the core African and Nigerian and Yoruba, which, which I am. Although some of the songs are not really in Yoruba language, but the expression behind it are, and then some of them are just pure chanting in my language. So. Moses wanted to bring different emotions of senior year into the piece, hoping to showcase the contrasting feelings seniors go through. You no, know, when people are leaving high school, they are friends, they may be moving out of town, some may be moving even out of country. So that's sad, sadness, a, a emotion. I included that in the beginning, kind of start slow. And then, you know, thinking about journey ending, really it's not really ending, it's just another um, journey starting when one ends, so we had celebration to it. So that makes it, you know, a emotion of, you know, being sad for ending a journey, but being very happy, looking forward to the next journey ahead. So those are the two emotions that is mixed together, you know, happiness and sadness, but overall celebration of looking forward to the future and see what future holds. Santos hopes to make the performance joyful and to focus on the positive emotions rather than the sad ones that they usually sing about at the finale. Uh, I, I really didn't want to end this one on a sad note. So, uh, in part because I'll be retiring at the end of this year, so I really wanted it to be joyful. So, um, I talked with Bauku about it right there before the end of the day, and he jumped right on it. He said, oh, yes, that would be amazing. I would love that opportunity. So he started on it right away. This was Moses' first time working with students, and he has enjoyed seeing the students' reactions to his music. The students are, like, awesome, like, very quick in learning, dedicated to their music. They love their music. And it's kind of like a joy to, to see them react to my composition the way they did. It's like, it's like you can just see them light up, like, even the teacher, she can't just stop jumping and dancing, looking forward. She's like, okay, let's have the concert now. And so that's kind of like a joy because I didn't think, you know, this is not my comfort zone. Like, I didn't think place a place outside of my element, I can get that kind of reaction from it. And so that can actually make me want to do this more if I have the opportunity to to even explore, you know, taking Afro beats that's supposed to be upbeat with horn, guitar, bass, and drum, and then bring it down to choir. But making it, it's like, it's not really slow, just different kind of expression, I think it's awesome.